Hello, everybody. What a pleasure to be here. We're starting with Mendelssohn. And uh, from the beginning. Let's go back to the first tutti at R. Amy. I'd like to hear, to start, let's hear the winds, brass, no timpani, viola, celli, bassi. So no violins, no timpani. Let's try to make our articulation and shape of these whole notes the same. So with a little bit of taper and a little bit of release. Bam, bam, bam. Thank you. Can we have more 
tape is still on the sfortate. Don't read into the slur like it's a, f a phrase that goes through. Can I have a, l a little bit more of the second horn? It's unusually low and a strange harmony with the with the ophicleide. Let's let's hear the depth of the sound. Here we go. Same people. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Let's add the violins and the and the timpani. So tutti it are, and let's make sure there's enough space in the sound for them. Here we go. We're still getting a little used to used to my tempo. Let's let's try to go with me. A bit more sautier, a little less uh, spiccato. Can we take this place 98 where we stopped? And always think where you're phrasing with these. It's never still. Can we make a little bit, um, can we do this lovely phrasing in a softer dynamic? I'd love to hear you and the violas play together in this melody. They've got this lovely uh, twirling passage underneath you. We should be equal players here. 130, 130. Feel free to crescendo into the, into the fourth bar, into the slow bar. 130. <laughs> Thank you. Can I, can I have a little bit more responsiveness with, with the phrasing here? Just so I think when we get to the harmony is suddenly quite uh, dramatic and, and a bit heartfelt, and then we relax. Let's try to feel this together. 138. 138. Here we go. different editions, but let's get the crescendo all the way to the end of the phrase. So without the subito piano. Without the subito piano. Through with the with the with the winds. Let's pick this up at one six two. One six two. So two hairpins but each more and more. Let's build to the fanfare. One six two. <laughs> Thank you. 
thank you, very nice. I, what I would like here, where the melody comes back in B major, is the first time we had the yum pom 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 di phrase, but here we need to save a bit of the crescendo to go to the sforzato. Yum pom 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 di pa pa di. There we can finally open up. Let's take this place, two, three, zero, two, three, zero. Same shape as before. We're getting a little long in some places. <laughs> Once more, so also pom 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 bi pa. We still taper the note, but have the crescendo go through to the sforzato. So let's not change the articulation and add the phrasing. Once more. Let's move on to the Britain. Boisterous Bure, first move. Thank you. Let's do these last couple of bars. I like that we're making the distinction in the articulation. But now let's also phrase away on each one. And let's not rush the very last bar. Take some time. Let's take this um, last one, two, three, four, five bars from the pianissimo rhythm up bows. Let's do that again. Once more. We're just a little early at the last note over here. Once more. Nice. 
almost. <laughs> Very close. Can we do it once more? And make sure we have contact here as well. I'm mean, getting lots of eyes here, but we need to keep the ensemble. Once more, once more. Let's they make it all together work. Yes, thank you. Okay, back to the beginning. Back to the beginning. Like we did the articulation at the end, can we make it a little more like that in the beginning as well? So short, long, short, long, a little more than we're doing at the moment, whilst keeping this feeling of completely coming up and down. Once more. <laughs> No, it's a bit too polite somehow. Can we make it really? It's boisterous, really, right? Marcato, a little bit ugly with the with the with the with this vibrato. Bit of teeth. Once more, really like this beginning. Once more. Top. <laughs> Great matching that. Can we add that to the character? We don't have the marcato rhythm, but I think it's implied for the whole piece with these eights. So let's let's take over from them when we have the eights. Can we have even more connected legato? Complete change of character. Like another character's just walked on while well, I guess the young Briton is going on some sort of adventure here. Let's take one, figure one, with the upbeat. Thank you. Let's try that again. So I mean between the between the bow changes, just a little stickier with the sound. And when we pass it on, it should be the same. So even first violins, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven after one, we have the tenuto notes written. Let's treat that as legatissimo. So we pass this line all the way through the orchestra. Again, number one, number one. <laughs> Great character change it too. Can we change the upbeat as well so it's not so short and a little more speed in the bow? Ha, ha, ya, ha. Just a bit of a breath. Upbeat into two. Upbeat into two. So more bow, more speed. One. Thank you, thank you. Can we stay a little bit more steady with the pizzicatas? A couple of people have the tendency to push forward and then we, we lose the ensemble a bit. Ah! Well, that's 10 seconds. Maybe we'll try that in some other time. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.